Well, credit to, to Seton Hall. Um, you know, they're talented. Uh, they're physical. They're deep. Uh, they're experienced. And, you know, they really just kind of uh, imposed their will on us in that third quarter. And, you know, that was, you know, we, we just couldn't recover from that. In the first half, we didn't shoot the ball particularly really well, but we were still in the game, um, and it was—it wasn't anything like the first meeting. So just talk about how you guys responded in the second meeting with them. Yeah, I thought you know I thought we had a good run going in the second quarter, and then we we bailed them out with a couple early jump shots, and that gave them some momentum heading into the fourth quarter, or sorry, heading into the the third quarter. Then I thought. We had a couple chances for stops early. Uh, we fouled with one set. We, we didn't go hard after loose ball. We fouled with one second to go on shot clock. And even though we scored a couple, um, you know, we, we, we kept fouling. So they were getting free throws. We were bailing them out. Um, we just really lost our uh, intensity defensively in the third quarter. Other than the defensive intensity, was there anything else that was a key contributing factor to that? Yeah, I mean, we missed, you know, we missed a lot of shots and, and again, they're really good in transition. So as we, we missed those shots, um, that really gave them a chance to run out on us and, and put pressure on our defense. Uh, you did a good job taking care of the ball today, but sec uh, second straight game, 11 or fewer turnovers. Just talk about your ball security. Yeah, it's, and again, we got a, it, it's the second game in a row where we've taken good care of the ball, but yet our defensive intensity hasn't been at the level. So, you know, and then defense is hard. Like you gotta, you gotta really be willing to to trust your teammate. You gotta really be willing to play hard, um, consistently. Um, you know, and we've lost that a little bit right now. Um, coach, uh, outside of the actual game that took place today, obviously Project Providence, something near and dear to your heart and to this program. Can you talk a little bit about what it means to you and your program to have fourteen hundred kids coming in from three different states to uh, check out? Yeah, I mean, what our people, marketing people do here is amazing. I mean, the work they put into that and, and, and the willingness to then also invest in it with the shirts and, and get the, the Friar brand out there. Um, but, you know, for a lot of those kids, who knows how many times they've been on a college campus. And especially for the, for the young girls, but young boys as well, but especially for the young girls to see people look like them and to have this opportunity and realize, you know, these things happen for, for anybody who, who's willing to work at them and, and give themselves a chance at it. And, you know, just their energy. And, and, you know, even after the game, obviously we're disappointed with the result, but they're still happy. They're still excited. Um, you know, they're on a college campus. So, um, you know, again, I, I think it's a really special thing. I, I'm thankful that our, our school puts in the time and the resources to do it. I'm really thankful that we do it for a Big East game because I think that environment's even better. Um, so uh, just really glad that we can be part of it and that so many schools participate and that we have such great uh, support here to do it. Now, obviously, a quick turnaround between today and St. John's coming in on Sunday. What needs to be the focus heading into that contest? Effort. We need to play hard all the time. Coach, I'm looking at Erie underneath. She really was working hard, was putting a lot of spin moves in there, trying to get baskets underneath. How do you assess her effort today? Yeah, I thought, you know, offensively, Alyssa's got some good stuff. She does. And, and her and Mary are getting better and better at playing off of one another. Um, you know, it's just the, the – growing into that consistency as, as we continue to get experience. I thought she had some good looks from three, too, which, you know, she's able to knock down. So, um, you know, their physicalness, I think, bumped her out a few times to get a few more scores, but that's a good thing to grow from and learn from and, and hopefully motivate for the, for the offseason to continue to get stronger.